In this video, we're breaking down the details of Johnson's newly passed $2,000 stimulus check bill and what it means for you. We'll explain who is eligible to receive these payments, the timeline for when the money will be sent out, and how this could impact your Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits. Whether you're wondering if you qualify or how this extra money will fit into your budget, we've got you covered. We'll also address some of the most common questions people have about the stimulus checks, such as how to ensure you receive the full amount and what to do if there are any issues with your payment. This is crucial information, especially for those relying on government benefits, so it's important to be prepared and informed. Breaking news has swept across the nation as Speaker of the House Mike Johnson successfully pushed through a new $2,000 stimulus check bill, marking a significant shift in economic policy and offering a potential lifeline for millions of Americans still grappling with lingering economic challenges. This landmark legislation has sparked intense debate and raised numerous questions about its implications for individuals, families, and the broader economy. As the country stands on the brink of another round of direct payments, it's crucial to understand the details of this bill and what it means for the average American. The passage of this stimulus package comes against a backdrop of evolving economic circumstances and shifting political priorities. Since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020, the United States government has implemented several rounds of stimulus measures to bolster the economy and provide relief to citizens. The new $2,000 stimulus check represents a continuation of these efforts, albeit under different leadership and in a changed economic landscape. Under the newly passed bill, eligibility for the full $2,000 payment extends to individual taxpayers with adjusted gross incomes up to $75,000, married couples filing jointly with incomes up to $150,000, and heads of household with incomes up to $112,500, $12,500. For those with incomes above these thresholds, the payment amount will gradually phase out. Notably, the bill includes provisions for dependents of all ages, including adult dependents, who will be eligible for a $500 payment added to the parent or guardian's check. The Internal Revenue Service IRS will once again take charge of distributing these payments through various methods, including direct deposit, paper checks, and economic impact payment EIP cards. While exact dates haven't been provided, the IRS is expected to begin processing payments within two weeks of the bill's enactment, with most recipients anticipated to receive their funds within four to six weeks of the distribution start date. Beyond the direct payments, the stimulus bill encompasses several other noteworthy provisions, including extended unemployment benefits, increased funding for COVID-19 testing and vaccine distribution, additional support for small businesses, rental assistance funds, gain and increased funding for food assistance programs. These supplementary measures aim to provide a more comprehensive approach to economic relief and public health support. The announcement of this new round of stimulus checks has ignited intense debate among economists, policymakers, and financial experts. Proponents argue that the direct payments will provide a significant boost to consumer spending, potentially driving economic growth and kickstarting a positive economic cycle. According to some estimates, the $2,000 stimulus checks could increase GDP by up to 0.5% in the short term. However, not all experts share this optimistic outlook. Some economists express concern about the potential inflationary impact of injecting more money into the economy, warning that it could exacerbate already rising prices in various sectors. Critics also raise alarm about the long-term consequences of adding hundreds of billions of dollars to the national debt, arguing that future generations will bear the burden of current spending decisions. The impact on the job market is another area of contention. While increased consumer spending could lead to job creation in certain sectors, some argue that direct payments might disincentivize work, particularly for low-wage earners. This complex issue highlights the need for careful consideration of both short-term relief and long-term economic stability. A public reception to the stimulus bill has been mixed but generally positive. Social media platforms have been abuzz with discussions, with many users expressing relief and excitement about the prospect of additional financial support. Recent polls indicate a favorable view among the majority of Americans, with many believing the stimulus will have a positive impact on their personal financial situation. However, a significant portion of the population also expresses concern about the long-term economic consequences of the stimulus package. The business community's response has been similarly varied. Some industry leaders, particularly those in retail and hospitality, welcome the stimulus as a potential boost to consumer spending. 
Others, however, express concerns about inflationary pressures and the potential impact on the labor market, especially regarding hiring challenges. As the stimulus checks prepare to roll out, it's important for eligible Americans to take steps to ensure they receive their payment as quickly and smoothly as possible. This includes ensuring that their information is up to date with the IRS, checking their eligibility, and planning for the use of their stimulus check. Financial experts recommend prioritizing essential expenses, paying down high-interest debt, building an emergency fund, investing in the future, and supporting local businesses if possible. It's also crucial to be aware of potential scams that often arise in the wake of such announcements. The IRS will never contact individuals asking for personal or banking information, and there is no way to expedite the receipt of a stimulus check by paying a fee. Looking beyond the immediate impact, the $2,000 stimulus checks raise important questions about long-term economic implications. The significant addition to the national debt may limit fiscal flexibility in the future and could potentially lead to higher taxes or reduced government services down the line. The Federal Reserve may face additional challenges in managing monetary policy, particularly in monitoring and responding to potential inflationary pressures. There are also concerns about potential changes in consumer behavior and expectations. Repeated rounds of stimulus checks may lead to what some economists call stimulus dependence, where individuals and businesses come to rely on government support rather than adapting to changing economic conditions. Furthermore, as the world's largest economy, the U.S., stimulus package could have ripple effects throughout the global economy, impacting international markets and trade relationships. The political implications of this stimulus bill are equally significant. Its passage under Speaker Johnson's leadership, with bipartisan support, suggests a potential shift in political alliances around economic issues. It could signal a realignment of political priorities, with both parties more open to government spending as a tool for economic stability. The success of this package may also set a precedent for similar interventions in future economic downturns, raising questions about the role of government in managing the economy and the sustainability of such approaches. As the checks begin to roll out, Americans will undoubtedly feel the immediate impact of this additional financial support. However, the true long-term consequences of this decision will only become clear with time. Economists, policymakers, and citizens alike will be closely watching how this massive injection of funds affects inflation, employment, consumer behavior, and overall economic growth. What's certain is that this stimulus package has reignited debates about economic theory, the effectiveness of direct payments as a policy tool, and the balance between short-term relief and long-term fiscal responsibility. As we move forward, these discussions will likely play a crucial role in shaping future economic policies and political landscapes. For now, eligible Americans can look forward to some additional financial support in the coming weeks. Whether this will be the last of such direct payments or the beginning of a new approach to economic management remains to be seen. What's clear is that the effects of this decision will be felt far beyond the immediate boost to bank accounts, potentially reshaping economic policy for years to come. As always, it's important for individuals to stay informed about these developments and to make thoughtful decisions about their personal finances in light of this unexpected windfall. While the stimulus check provides welcome relief for many, it's crucial to consider long-term financial health and stability when deciding how to use these funds. In the end, the true success of this stimulus package will be measured not just by its immediate impact, but by its role in fostering a robust, equitable, and sustainable economic recovery for all Americans. As the nation navigates these uncharted economic waters, the consequences of this bold fiscal move will undoubtedly shape the economic narrative for years to come. The ripple effects of this stimulus package extend far beyond individual bank accounts and immediate economic indicators. As the checks begin to circulate throughout the economy, we can expect to see shifts in various sectors, from retail and hospitality to housing and technology, small businesses, in particular, may experience a much-needed boost as consumers find themselves with extra spending power. This could potentially lead to increased hiring, expanded operations, and a general sense of economic optimism in local communities across the country. However, the influx of cash into the economy also raises questions about supply chain stability and product availability. With increased consumer demand, some industries may struggle to keep up, potentially leading to temporary shortages or price increases in certain goods and services. 
This dynamic interplay between stimulus-driven demand and supply chain capabilities will be a critical factor in determining the overall economic impact of the package.